Hello, ladies and gentlemen. How are you this fantastic evening? I am Thor of Thor News, and I think the world is going to end, or the weird weather changes are going to keep barking us down, nipping at our heels, and we are not going to adapt, then we might as well enjoy life while we can. Okay? And this video is going to be real simple. A hurricane is hitting Ireland. Sure. Some weather nerds might be like, it's post-tropical. It became post-tropical. Okay, sure, fine. All right, and there's your giant Azores high. How's that? But the main thing, this is going to be a real simple video. See that? You see it with your mind's eye, though? Okay, so for about four years at Thor News, through my studying the sun and its effects on Earth weather, I have been telling you guys for three straight years, four years, I mean, I got, you know, as I progressively studied it, the weather and the sun, I got more up in your face saying the weather's going to get weirder. We are going to have to work together to adapt. Now, I haven't been that successful in spreading that message. So right now, the whoever, whatever, six dudes, three dudes, two dudes own the media, quash any message that isn't divide and conquer, propping up the fiat currency oil war facade. Because if they let the common sense people that make up about 70% of human beings come together and just say, hey, let's create a better world than this, it would happen overnight. So they have a diminishing returns effort to keep everyone distracted with utter bullshit. Because they know at this point, we all realize shit is fucked up. And that we could make great improvements in almost all areas. Alright, so this is what we're looking at what I coined the Quetzalcoatl Brain Train Dragon. So when I'm like, hey, y'all, the weather's just going to keep getting weirdness. When I coined the Quetzalcoatl Rain Train Dragon, it was a new era. I think that video got a lot of down thumbs. People were like, it's not a Quetzalcoatl Rain Train dorm Storm. This is totally normal. And if you'll notice, this giant Rain Train Dragon has properties to it that would, are cyclonish. Cyclones. So, like, as we've been seeing the cyclones either at the end or in the middle of these giant, this is total cloud water. So, this is going to be a whole lot of rain. And whether or not we get these rain trains where this rain cloud, pretty much the length of Earth, the width of Earth, if you stretch it out, when... The atmosphere and the currents change to where we get one of these things in a train just going straight across the same territory for like a week or eight days. We're going to get massive flooding. It doesn't matter if you're in a peak, a valley, a city, or a town. That's what's going to happen. So it's like we're here looking at the future. And this is our weather future. And so that is why I take super umbrage with the fact when I tell people Puerto Rico is 1% of America and it's pretty much the test case. Like this is what can happen. Mother Nature may be able to devastate entire states, cities to where you get no electricity. Your roads are completely shredded. All your communications are down. And we may undergo some major changes so that it happens to multiple cities or states or nations at once. And all the evidence is there. And remember, I am not interested in arguing about what is causing it right now. Nobody agrees on anything these days. And so, 
I mean, my personal belief is that the sun is changing and that is causing rapid earth weather changes and that most of what we're seeing is based from volcanoes and inner core activity as the sun grows. We have solar system growth and heating up all over the solar system. So, you know, um, so I just wanted to make this video. I finally, my attention deficit disorder doctor and I finally hooked up and communicated properly and I went and got my concentration medicine. So I'm looking forward to finishing those 30 videos that are not weather related that I've been pecking at like a chicken and then getting frustrated and stopping. I'm looking forward to finishing those in the next week or so. And uh, the t-shirts, the old t-shirt supply that people ordered the other day, thank you very much. I did not get out today. I literally laid on the couch and stared at the ceiling because I was like, I'm not, I can't handle this. And then the doctor called and was like, I did it. I sent over your prescription. So I was like, thank you, Jesus. Oh, my God. So I'm so excited. And if you hadn't heard over the last three weeks, I haven't had my medicine. So I haven't been able to have my laser beam focus for 12 straight hours on a video to edit. Like, if you have, you know, 12 hours of weather footage that you have to pare down into 5 to 10 minutes and make it a very complex narrative, I mean, a good narrative, three-act narrative, uh, and you have to pull all that data, it's really hard for me having ADD not to get distracted. An hour or two is the best I could do, which is why you've seen a lot more one-take videos over the last three weeks, as opposed to my super best editing on YouTube skills in your face. And so... Like I said, uh, it's a relationship. We're going to go through the good times and bad times together. And nobody wanted to get back to my superstore style more than me. That is for sure. Okay. So God bless everyone. And like I said, this video is going to be simple. But it's like, I don't even know what else to show y'all. I mean, I think this will drive the point home enough. I mean, look at it. It goes all the way into... It's like Canada... All the way into China. So, it's one giant system, man. And well, man. So, as you guys are arguing about things that I think we should prioritize, you need to realize and recognize we got much bigger problems. And that it is my opinion that both political parties are working together to distract you from the weather and the earth change situation. So, it's best if we pretend like the government doesn't even exist. And I'm not saying that on a defense level. We definitely need to stay aware of our government and what it's doing. But I'm saying we don't need to plan on our government coming to our help or our aid. We have to learn how to work together on a social networking scale, on a personal scale, on a town scale, on a state scale, on a nation scale. Um, because human beings are the greatest resource on the planet. And if human beings ever figure out how to work together, we can do and build anything. It's like someone was sending me stuff with the new asteroid mining laws and ownership. And it's like, if we can ever get past the great fiat currency, oil war facade, space mining, and you know, building a city in space in the asteroid belt out of the materials there, and building... Bases on the moon or Mars, those are the future. I think super cities that can withstand these storms all over the world, that is the future. If we choose the right direction, and we choose to come together. Because if we're just going to stand around and argue, and try and figure out who's to blame for this 7,000 year epic clusterfuck of nothing but problems, then we're going to fail. That goes to the richest person, to the poorest person. We all got to come together. We all got to learn to dance. We all got to learn to forgive each other. Erase the chalkboard. And then come up with the greatest system of all time that will last a thousand years. And I want to get back to building cool, badass stuff. You know? Can you imagine building a super city from scratch without zoning laws? <clears throat> You can build it like with Mother Nature. You can build it within the mountains and have nature and the city be in harmony. You can do whatever we can imagine. And there are great people out there with imaginations that would blow your mind. And I just came up with an imagination test today. 
Like, and I'm not bragging. I'm saying my imagination is my superpower. And so if, if you want to gauge on how powerful your imagination is to see if it's stronger than mine, I've never watched porn. My imagination is that powerful. So if you had to watch porn, then your imagination is not as powerful as mine. Thank y'all very much. God bless y'all. I'm pretty sure, barring a, oh my God, something crazy just happened. Next video I make will be edited. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank y'all for being patient, awesome, and wonderful. And hey, I'm wearing a Justice League shirt. I hope that movie's good. But I try not to like get my hopes up for any movies ever. And then if I have no hopes, I go and I see it and it's great. That works out. Because if you go to a movie and you're like, this movie's going to be great. Like with the when they redo the Star Wars, the new ones. I think that's when I learned my lesson. I was like, oh my God, that sucked. Okay. Peace out. God bless everyone. Stay cool.